This is going to be a video on how to put a Samsung 860 Evo 6 gigabyte per second uh, transfer rate. It is an SSD hard drive and I'm going to be putting it in, sorry about all the stuff on the ground, this is a doghouse pretty much, I'm going to be putting it in this Toshiba. And there are a lot of different ways to put it in the Toshiba. There's a zillion videos on how to do this, so if you don't want to listen to me rambling on for two hours, go uh, click off of this and watch something else. But if you want to watch this, hey, let's go to it. And let me first time, I got the watch over here. We're going to time how long it takes for this thing to boot up. And then we're going to figure out how to clone the hard drive that's in here. And then we are going to see how long it takes to go from there. The time is 12.54 and 0 seconds, so we're going to start up. I don't really want all the reflection of everything showing in the video. That's why I've got the screen down, the camera down like it is. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm starting up Windows right now. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here. And we're 40 seconds in. The laptop is about 12 years old, I think. The BIOS is about, was it 12? No, the laptop is about 8 years old. Um, it has Windows, it had Windows 7 on it. If you check out my channel, I do, just did a video on how to put Windows 10 on here. Um, I did put on Windows 10, and incredibly, it did not delete all the files or apps. So I'm waiting so that I can click on putting in a password, which I don't have yet. We finally have a desktop now. We have a desktop at two and a half minutes. And let me get the mouse. I want to get the mouse over here. And uh, Okay, so we're not wagon wheeling at all. Have we loaded everything in yet? Things are still loading in. We are at three minutes, and I think, no, I was going to say, I think it's already done everything it needs to do, but do we, we're still loading in. 54, 55, 56, 57, three minutes. Did it decide to stop? Decided to stop at three minutes and about 15 seconds. So we're gonna go over to the uh, editor. Sorry about another delay of a few seconds. I have just clicked to run Power Director Pro, which is a massively intensive program. Where's the mouse? And I can't even find the mouse over here. Where, where's the camera? Come on, where's the camera? i to get the camera right over here. Okay, once this thing sh comes up, I'm not even worried about it f being fully loaded. Uh, okay, so we are right now 54. Now let's, let's load this thing in because that's the whole point of this. This program is massive. I think I just said I needed to do an update. I don't know. Um, we're at 54. 55, 56, 57, 58, well, we are at four and a half minutes already. And so this is going to be a really good test. I've seen other people where they, they have really nice setups. They got a, the, cam, the computers on a nice table and they got a huge timer and they're counting this thing down to the exact second. And that's not how I do my videos. I'm, I'm, I don't make a living off of this. I just do videos because I enjoy it. So if it helps you out, please do a thumbs up, su su subscribe, like, share. Uh, leave a comment if you want to donate to my channel, which very few people do. Ask for my PayPal info. And if you shop on Amazon, please go to my affiliate links in my video description and click on those before you do an Amazon order. First thing we're going to do is an unboxing. You have to have an unboxing when you're on YouTube. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, good for them. I'm glad that they did that. Then you really know that you're buying something that hasn't been opened or been resold. So, um, if you buy your package, and it doesn't have this piece of tape over here, return it. When I was looking online, I was trying to decide which brand do I want to buy. And this thing is not cheap. Believe me, these things are really expensive. A lot more expensive than the competition. And SSDs have come a long way, but when they crash, they're, you're in trouble. You lose everything, usually. Um, So that's the SSD, one terabyte. I believe the drive that's in this computer now is a seven, 750 gig. Yeah, I just dropped something. In the instruction book, mostly what you're gonna get is very little info. You're gonna get, let's 
go to the English section over here. You're going to get, make sure you check the connector on the drive before you deal with any of this stuff to make sure that it plugs in. It does not come with screws. You're on, you're screwed if you want screws. You're going to have to buy your own or use what's in the computer. They recommend downloading data migration and uh, magician software. Data migration I'll get to in a minute. That's the transfer software and Samsung magician, which we have over here. They get a little thing. You can go over there and download that. I think that's for for China. But we got the links over here where we had them. So the Magician software is going to allow you to, come on, let's zoom in, let's... Sorry, sorry it's not the greatest video, but it's going to work. Firmware updates, rapid mode, I think that's for uh, something you're not going to need. Hard drive checks and uh, secure erase, so if you, if you want that, install the Magician software. Uh, I would install it strictly for the software update, for the drive if you need it, the hardware uh, uh, update. Um, data migration. I'm going to show you about data migration right now. So, if you've ever backed up a drive, that's pretty much what we're going to be dealing with here. You've got, I don't want to drop the drive, but what you're going to do is you're going to get a cable that plugs into the USB drive. They're called uh, SATA, SATA adapter, SATA transfer drives, uh, cables. You're going to get a cable, they cost about 12 bucks, that plugs into your USB drive and then on the other end it's got a connector that will plug into this drive. And then you're going to install the uh, data migration software. So you're going to have to download it from the link. What you're going to be doing is running the software. The software is going to say you want to back up the drive over here. You want to uh, transfer it. This is going to be the source. This is going to be the target. Uh, those are the words they might use. Source, target. And so you're going to have a cable going from the computer to the hard drive. It should be able to, the software will start up and it will be able to back everything up from here to the SATA drive. And then after that, I don't know on my laptop. Okay, luckily for me on this laptop, it's got some doors on the bottom of it, and that means that I should be able to open up the door and get to my hard, the hard drive, put the new hard drive in there, and then it should be able to boot, and then you install the Magician software, and it should do the updates, the upgrades, whatever you need for the, the, hard, the drive the maintenance uh, software that it, uh, the magician is. And if you don't have that, there's another way you can do it. You can, uh, sorry about the big mess over here. This is called a, an external, an external box. I don't know what the heck you call it. I bought this thing. I did a review on it. So if you want to go look and see the review and it might be easier for you to use this thing, this will accept three and a half inch drives and two and a half inch drives. So you can put in two different drives. You can put in the two and a half if you need to. It's got the adapter over there. This, is, this drops down for the three and a half. And this will allow you to have an external drive and do your backup without messing with the cable. This pl also plugs into USB. Or another thing that this will do that uh, might make it easier. I'm not going to do it this way because uh, most people don't have this type of box. So I want to do it so it will be helpful to everybody watching. But the advantage of this thing is that you can put in your source in the A side and you can put in the target in the B side and you just press the button over there down over there and it will go in there and clone the drive for you. I believe there is also a program called uh, mini, what is it, mini clone, mini tools, I think it's mini tools or mini clone and you can go in there and back up your drive. I think the free version will allow you to back up certain stuff. The paid version should allow you to back up the whole drive and the system at the same time. And then there's another program I can't remember. Uh, people use a, is it a Cronus, Macronus, a, I think it's a Cronus, uh, to back up their data. And there's a, there are a few others out there that are free. So if you don't want to mess with it the way I, I'm going to show you, then just go look for the backups. But I'm going to do the Samsung data migration because that's what uh, it comes with. Make sure you go online and download your data migration program, the data migration manual, the Samsung Magician installer, and the Magician 
installation guide. My setup is here right now. I've got another video that I did on uh, this backup unit. This is a backup thing, but I'm going to use it to see if I can connect the drive and maybe migrate everything. Uh, so far, it hasn't gone easy. It's probably not a big deal to do this thing, but it really hasn't gone that easily yet. This is the first step. We've got the migration. I'll deal with the magician thing later. Um, SSD, that's SSD or hard drive. So I'm going to click on start and see what happens. I've got my drive connected. Um, that's not it. Start is down at the bottom. I'm going to click on start and we'll see what we get. We get source drive Toshiba. Now, the good thing is that it does see the drive and I don't have a whole bunch of partitions on there. I'm going to turn on this power box now for the uh, SATA drive and we'll see if it detects anything for the target drive. I've got that on. It's powered up. It's detecting with Windows, so we'll see if I... Uh... No, 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 no. Shut that off. Okay, so it just detected my... Samsung one terabyte drive and click on start and then after I get this thing done then I'll see what I can do with the magician thing. <clears throat> Samsung my great uh, when cloning all data on the target <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying not to laugh 11 hours and 40 minutes to back up 750 gigabytes on one little drive we're down to six hours, six and a half hours. It was just at seven hours. We're at 13 percent. Things are cranking along. Quick update. Um, 15 minutes later, we're back to six hours, 32 minutes. We're at 17 percent. This just happened verifying cloned Windows partition. We're still at 99 percent. The time is increasing, but this is the first time that uh, anything has happened. The hard drive just pumped up all of a sudden. And there it is, one minute later, the data on the source disk has been successfully cloned to your Samsung SSD. Lucky for me, as I said at the beginning of the video, I've got this little door over here. It has one screw, and this is probably where the hard drive is going to be. If I were you before, I would mess with any of this. Before you even order, I would open your laptop up, make sure that it's easy to get to the hard drive because you really don't want a hard drive where you got to take all the screws off and mess with it unless you've done something like this before. So I'm going to undo this one screw and we'll see what happens. That is the hard drive over there. We have some uh, looks like some foil. I pull this piece up and I'm just going to slide away from the connector. Sometimes the connectors uh, will angle up at 45 degrees, sometimes they won't and it looks like this one won't. It's installed. This is kind of lame. Um, the other drive did not really bounce around. This drive, I don't have any brackets for it, but you can see that I had a... See how it's kind of wobbling around? It's connected in there. It's really not going to go anywhere. This is it, everybody. This is what I've been waiting... Uh, Six hours for. Let's press the button and see if it even starts up. It's 3918, 8.39. I started this like seven hours ago. So 39.18. How long is it going to take Windows to start up? Remember, after I did the password and we finished going through all the little dilly-dally things, it was two and a half minutes. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Yikes. This is 20 seconds. The dog's going to start going crazy in a minute. Is, our, is it ready already? It's unbelievable. So it's going to take me some time to type in the password. I am just shocked. I'm absolutely shocked right now. Totally shocked. We are at one minute, and that was with me messing around. We already have a... This is just incredible. Let me go down to the bottom over here. Um... Within 20 seconds, I was booted up. Right now, we're going through uh, some of the startup things. Let's go find that mouse. Remember, I did the mouse thing before. So let's go find the mouse and get that on the screen. Wait until that stops. Did that stop? Did that stop within less than a minute? No, it's still doing its little thing over there. 
Now it started up immediately. Within 20 seconds, I had the Windows screen. And I think a minute, less, a minute and 40 seconds, we're done. Do I have, everything's already loaded in. Let's go over to, I'm gonna load in the uh, editing software. Remember that took, remember that took like two minutes to get to this before? This is insane. We're at like a minute and a half, two minutes. Unbelievable, people. This is absolutely incredible. One more thing I want to try out. I wanted to see if it would take me onto the internet. It took me onto the internet. In less than two minutes, I did what it took me about five minutes to do on the regular 5400 RPM drive. SSD, I am shocked. It's incredible. I know these things have lots of problems still, even as good as they are. You can't really do the defrag like you could with the other with the older drives and you can corrupt some of these and if you're trying to hide your files or wipe a drive for who knows what reason I don't even know that you can do it on an SSD and uh, everything's probably saved. So uh, that's the install. This was pretty incredible. Sorry the video took so long but I'm not because you got to see what I went through and you're gonna go through the same thing. It started up right away. It did clone everything. Took me on the internet right away and I'm now going to install the uh, Samsung Magician software, see if there are any drivers and then I'll be done. And those are the results. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I if this was like 540, 520 or 560, 540, but these are the results of the drive. Um, I'm 100% happy. This worked out. It takes forever, but it worked out. So sorry that it dragged on as long as it did. Help me out, people, come on. Donate to the PayPal or click on the um, affiliate link in the uh, video description before you buy it from Amazon. So maybe I can get at least a dollar out of this video. Thank you.